Alright Pisces, welcome back. Let's see what is going on for you for the month of October. What are the messages for my lovely Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising? I will be doing an extended as usual and also I want to share with you that I have been renovating the whole website so I would really appreciate it if you would take a look and you can always uh, write a comment about it or things that you want to see differently. I'm always open for anything that you have to say so but I'm super excited. I was sick the whole week and I was like you know what let's just have a renovation there so let me know. So we have falling in love, starting good, uh, kissing the divine in another in yourself. We've got the Yamaya, the grandmother ocean, and a wave of power. Ooh, the bottom of the deck is the unseen, too much is hidden from you. We're going to go a little bit deeper on this before we are going to elaborate on this reading. What is going on here? What is going on? You know, a lot of the signs have been getting some crazy stuff coming through. A lot of things from the darkness or people doing stuff. So, mm, let's see. Let's see. All right, we have the sun in the reverse, talking about darkness. We have the king of cups. We have the moon, again. The Queen of Cups, wow, an Eight of Pentacles, all right. That's a good start, actually. I feel, you know what I feel, whomever you are connected to, things may look like things are a little bit on the dark side or this person is hiding something from you, um, which probably they are since we do have the unseen and too much is hidden from you. However, with this king and the queen of cups coming through strongly and the falling in love card, I do feel like there is a very strong um, psychic bond between the both of you and that you will both be overcoming whatever this situation is because we have it with the eight of pentacles in the upright. So that means that while it is next to the feminine's energy, it looks like the feminine could be putting in a lot more work in order to kind of like get this secret that this person is holding on to outside of them and I feel like this is this may not be just a like a regular secret it may also be like a psychic issue that this person is dealing with which is kind of like hindering or blockaging blocking the um the growth of this relationship all right so it does not have to be particularly a um I'm hearing silent treatment. I don't know if someone has been doing the silent treatment here or not. It could be coming from your end or their end. Um, but this person, I feel it's not like a secret, but I feel like they're hiding some type of psychological issue that they're coping with and you may intuitively feel into that sense this and you can or you are able to kind of like tune into this person's portal in order to see what that is talking about or to make them feel safe enough to open up and be vulnerable with you okay because this person is you know we do have the sun here but it, when it is in the reverse it is talking about being a little bit depressed or not seeing things uh, turning out positive or just in a in a mood of like seeing things only going downhill and not seeing the hope or um, the growth in a situation in their life and I do feel like it has to do with their soul so their soul feels a little bit tainted with um, you know pessimism that's what that's the, that's the exact word but let's see, let's, um, let's clarify a little bit further on with the Lenamar deck. And I will be getting into this too much is hidden from you. Oh, wow. We've got the house, the heart and the coffin. Now this could be a very specific message for just one person out there, but it could be that this uh, masculine energy, this King of Cups, 
has to get rid or has to get out of um, a very loved house, you know, a house that they really loved or enjoyed and it, the contract is over and they need to kind of like move out, but their heart is in it. Like they don't want to move out of it. Like they are struggling with that. That's why this person is feeling quite uh, down and depressed a little bit. That could be definitely the case. What more? If that message did not resonate. Okay, so the good news is that this person is actually going to open up, all right? This is the book of secrets. Again, there is something that this person is keeping a secret from you and they really want to tell you about it. The message is going to come in. This is the writer telling you the good news and I feel like there is going to be a lot of enlightenment as well as illumination in regards to this situation and I feel like the bond will be deepening because you will understand that this person is very loyal to you, all right? They have been very loyal towards you or they, they still love you in some type of way. So I get this feeling that it's not completely what you think it is and it's like, a little bit deeper than that and you may have questioned their investment in you or you may have questioned their loyalty towards you or um, anything in that realm and spirit is here saying like that may not be the case it's like you don't know something that you should be aware of and this person is going to be expressing that sooner or later all right whenever they feel comfortable doing so and look at that we've got the letter so definitely expect some type of communication truthful communication to come in but let's see what this unseen is talking about can we just clarify for pisces the unseen wow five of cups regret all right someone that is disappointed sad and they're not really talking about it. Eight of Wands is talking about communication, straightforward communication. And this person is just hiding that right now. So they have a huge disappointment in their life going on that they are just not really comfortable talking about. Five of Wands in the reverse. Giving up on... I don't know why. Giving up on what? Why, why, why am I saying giving up? Yeah, this person is healing. They may have been involved in some type of conflict and they are now retreating in, in some type of retreating mode in order to heal. They're taking a break. So they're taking like a big pause in order to deal with any type of uh, lingering emotions in regards to whatever the situation was. So again, I've clarified this unseen, which I usually do get like more of like, um, you know, heavy energies with but this time around i was not getting it and this is definitely confirming that what i was feeling was correct so with that being said i think i think spirit is really nudging you to keep on investing and work on this connection uh, and don't take whatever you're seeing as that's it all right, especially if they're silent or they're, they've retreated themselves, the moon could definitely be talking about some type of silent treatment as well between the both of you. But the connection is so strong, like the psychic connection is strong. Uh, maybe there is some type of telepathy that is also required in order to kind of like open up the gates or the portal between you and this person. And then we have, I'm sorry, defenselessness, riding past wrongs and uprooting. All right, this person is sorry and regretful about something. They want some type of forgiveness or they're sorry for how things ended. All right, so again, th these are just a lot of energies that are just confirming the whole situation here. I like, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. I seriously am. A broken error, error, okay, a broken error, okay, sorry, broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. So again, this is a calling for you to not 
not expect the worst all right or not really go into conflict this person does not does not want to go through another dispute or an argument or conflict or whatsoever this person needs a lot of rest and healing and also someone that can understand what they're going through or some type of compassion in regards to their situation so um, maybe just being in that energy even if you're not talking right now because that could be the case with the moon uh, be in that energy of peace all right surround yourself with peaceful energy uh, when you wake up you know make sure that you have a bubble of uh, white light and peace around you so it will not be disturbed protect your energy and show off that energy of peace towards this individual as well boundaries protection look at that patience so whenever this situation is going to get into um, into some type of movement it's a little bit unclear because with the card of patience, that means that it's going to take some time before this person truly opens up and communicates. I do know that you've been having this communication energy for a while now, and I'm not sure if this is coming through for you or not. I do remember someone saying like, I did not have a surge of communication, but that communication keeps on coming forward with the letter as well. So I think it's it's just a matter of patience, right? And that's it. You know, it's just a matter of patience here. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I really hope that this reading helped you out. If it did, press that like button for your girl. And if you want to see the extended, the link is down in the description box below this video. Or if you just simply want to check out my new website as well as the new futures that are coming, which I will be talking about obviously in another uh, reading as well or video, um, feel free to check and feel free to uh, send me a message on YouTube and see what you have to elaborate on it and how you feel about the website i am super excited i'm sorry i am rambling so thank you so much for your time and i'll catch you soon ciao